testing one, two, and three. We have ULTA that just hit $100 a share is coming down in a three-minute after-hours earnings announcement. And I'm going to show here and now that the closing bell was 89.51. We know that. Uh, we hit up here at $100. Now, this is the same company in the last reporting session that just tanked royally. So, basically, we're slightly up above it. Nope, actually, we're 91.97. You can see all of these prints going on here. And now, I'm going to go try and find out to see if we have a headline number on ULTA, which I do. Q1 of 70 to 75. Uh uh, versus the 79. So they're already light there in their salon. Capital IQ consensus estimates were the following. They were talking about the um, revs at 693 to 704 million. Okay, that's what they're talking about on the revs versus the 695 million that Capital IQ consensus got. Uh, losing 32 cents a share versus uh, on December 4th. Consensus was um, on that share on December 4th was to be profitable six cents. And so you can see what we're getting out of here. We're going to have to have, find out what they have on a conference call. And we'll probably do a, a couple of trades right there. There's going to be a lot more. Uh, the headline number was $1.09 versus $1.07. Uh, capital IQ consensus estimate on revs were the following. 868.1 million that was the revs versus the 855.25 million so they did okay a little bit on the revs but here's what everyone needs to realize here and now these estimates were revised and guided down from the last quarter so what ULTA cosmetic and fragrances have been able to do is really meet those lower guidances which in return is getting the stock to pop a little bit so as we get on the conference call and we start to see a little bit more hear a little bit more about it um, I'm going to change our short sell and put it out at the following what we are going to do is that that peak boy did it go up fast and drop like a rock yes I've mentioned what the earnings are right now they're not that bad overall. So the stock is up a whole whop, whipping uh, dollar twenty nine. I am going to throw some shorts out here right now, and I'm going to uh, go day plus, okay. And that's going to be EXT, and I'm going to throw these out here at ninety nine. Point five, and right now we're barely printing up here at 92 this is the three minute after hours earnings chart and I'm going to throw a short out there at this price level and now that short has been thrown out there and we can clearly see also where we're at trading at right here and the reason why we're doing that is because it's already showing that $100 mark and if we get a pop back up there of course we're gonna take that short okay there was another short that we had out there um, if it would have really did, had a big super pop but here are $93 going off the chart and once again what we will do here so that you can just we're gonna zoom you in we're gonna zoom you in here you go we're gonna zoom this piece of it you can see clearly now what ULTA did $98 and yes we do have a short out up there at 99.5 in after hours volatility they will have to say something during the conference call that's when they're going to announce their quarter and they're going to have a Q&A session and at that point in time we hope to see the stock pop up there and like I said we have that limit order out right now on ULTA here we go ULTA beats by two cents, beats on the revs, guides Q1 EPS below consensus. Revs in line for Q4 comps plus 9.2%. Sees Q1 
comps, 5 to 7%. But let me just tell you something. I'm going to have to go through this whole report. When I see something that gets downside guidance, as we do right here, right here, Q1 below consensus, right here, this is it, below. That's not good. So I'm going to have to go through the whole report, find out where the weaknesses are going to be, and go through these numbers very carefully. So that's the release as part of the headline. And you can see a stock isn't falling, but they're going to run that thing back up there. And we have an order out there right now at $99.50. So here, let's do this. Let's get this bar where you can see this in after hours coming back up. And there's going to be more to the report, period. Um, the, 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 when you guide something down, there's got to be what that really is. Uh, you know, why is that happening is what we're going to answer. Okay, and we're going to do that now by going through the report. Okay, in after hours, we are going to submit some orders here, 500 shares at 95.6 on that first pass and what we'll do is we'll keep it light we'll keep it light on the first entry okay and we welcome that price there now we also have a limit order out here at 97.1 okay and so we're going to try to scale this after hours earnings what it means for the big uh, salon and cosmetic maker here is there was some downside guidances as we all know therefore we're going to make sure that uh, uh, their sales uh, sales for stores open at least uh, 14 months in e-commerce sales okay increase 9.2 percent compared to an increase of 8.6 percent in the fourth quarter of fiscal 2012 so gradually and incrementally they've been doing better so that's pretty much what we're getting. Um, 2014 outlook details uh, are looking slightly up there. Uh, one thing I can say is uh, the earnings. Okay, so approximately 10 cents earnings per share to fund the branded awareness and guest experience initiatives. So like any of these type of companies right here, uh, which has been a growing market because the stock is, you know, up here. They missed the last quarter. So remember what happened last quarter is part of what they did today. And so the headline, once again, I'm going to just recap it right now. Um, they see Q1 comps, though, 5 to 7%. Okay? Those comps right there, just look at EPS is 70 to 75 versus 79 so you know it's a very mixed bag of this report for the stock we will be short sellers on the next move up the next higher resistance level tomorrow morning either in pre-market or the opening bell right now we're printing here at 94 and it's running out of gas as you can see 94 that's a stuck market maker there you can see 94.22 and we're going to stay there with our short coming